So the scenario is on our way from Baltimore to Seattle, our dispatchers planned around some known weather system. I'm in a 737-900 simulator with two Alaska pilots who work to bring new technology to the cockpit. Brett Payton and Jason Woodward. This shows on here what the weather is currently doing over the uh, Great Lakes region. This flight may be recreated in a simulator, but these images on the iPads are from a real flight made just a few days ago. Alaska is the only airline testing a new technology designed in part to automatically give pilots more options to save fuel and time. Turns out that storm wasn't moving as fast as originally forecast. Uh, the TAP software picked that up and has presented a solution that, as you can see. The original flight plan is the magenta line. The greenish line is an alternative the computer is suggesting. The software found an advantage of going a little bit straighter on our route, and that presents over a 1,300 pound fuel savings and 13 minutes in time that uh, we can arrive uh, sooner than expected on the on the planned route. So closer to on time or maybe even early if we're lucky. Alaska is working with NASA's Langley Research Center in Virginia. Don't forget NASA is not just about space but aeronautics, airplanes. And what's known as the TAP or Traffic Aware Planner is part of a bigger system. And it's not just about avoiding storms. The software designed to find more favorable winds at different altitudes, less air traffic, and eventually even get clearance from air traffic controllers automatically. For being able to uh, be given an arrival slot time and being able to put that into the uh, software, uh, and then it only looks for solutions that will help you more efficiently arrive at that exact time. Alaska has three 737s with an extra computer on board to make the calculations. This is definitely the first step, and it's the first real step that we've seen in having the ability to have a, a truly automated uh, airspace. A technology, NASA tells me, that has other airlines very interested. At SeaTac, Len Farley, King 5 News.